All right, this is the second attempt at, at recording this video. Uh, this is my OBS settings for Counter Strike Global Offensive, uh, and you know I decided to make this video primarily because there could be some people that are wondering what exactly should they do when recording CS:GO. Uh, I'm gonna close my door real quick so that nobody comes in uh, because I just had to redo this second this thing again because my aunt decided to interrupt me when I was nearly done recording. So yeah, family can be annoying at times, uh, but. This is my settings, CSGO, and if you do not know how to set up basically CSGO for a studio, OBS Studio, what you have to do is you have to create a new scene first, uh, here by right clicking, or just, actually you can add a scene by clicking this, which is just add, that's a new scene, uh, and then you can rename it, and then now you add, you right click, add, and you can, and you should do first, you should game capture, and set it to the setting, capture any uh, full screen application, and then you add display capture. Uh, which is basically your monitor capture. There isn't really too much to to, to uh, there isn't really too much to talk about over here. Uh, now the next thing I'm going to show you is my basic settings. Uh, here I did not really change anything other than the fact that I changed my language to English because that was the best way to do it. There is no poli there's most because it can be confusing. I do not want to translate literally everything, and besides, I do not know s all of those words. Some of the words are d some of the words resemble the words in Polish, so I can basically just translate it in my head. But mostly they don't, uh, so it's kind of difficult. And I don't want to memorize exactly which what order of those things it is. And you know, things might be different, so I decided to just set it uh, to the English because it's the easiest language that I can really speak. So, yeah. Uh, stream type streaming services service twitch I do not stream though because my internet does not really I don't know how to say it but my my internet is really really crappy and I cannot stream because it really cuts down on my performance on the internet uh, so yeah latency is really high and stuff and I would not be able to stream so I just do not stream here's here's a button actually they made it more convenient so that you do not have to switch it off over here manually you can start streaming or start recording if you feel like and there isn't really to do. I do not know what the hell happened here because my bitrate. Okay, no, this is a streaming bitrate. Uh, I didn't. I did not use this, so I did not change really anything. Uh, and here is where I kind of changed a bunch of things up. I do not think I changed anything here, except for recording for format and di di directory. Uh, uh, but that is really all, uh, to be perfectly honest, because. V settings are mostly preference. This was at FOV, I believe, at first, which is the reason why I decided to change it because it's a video format that I do not personally like. Uh, and besides, it's more convenient for me to record TMP4. Encoder did not change anything, I don't think. This was by default here. It's, this, I, I don't know if I changed it to CBR or it was CBR. I think it was CBR by default. So I just left it be. Bitrate I changed to 10,000 because it does not really impact your frame rate in games all that much, especially now, especially that I have a 60 hertz monitor or 75 hertz at most. There is one resolution which is the one that I use right now. It's a 4 by 3 resolution. It's 100, uh, 1, 1152 by 864, I believe. I do not exactly remember what it is, but it's a 4 by 3, and it is, it is a kind of weird resolution, but it is. But it is a good resolution because it's the only one that has 75 hertz re refresh rate for me. I do not know why my monitor is so weird. Maybe it's because it's not a gaming one. Thought about upgrading it sometime, but not yet. Uh, this, I don't know what it was said, but I have zero here. Ultra fast. I had very fast, I believe. Uh, yeah, I have very fast. But it, what it did was when I was recording CS:GO and I was doing like fast flick shots or DMing and stuff, it would really make my my uh, recording very choppish when uh, playing it back and I just decided to experiment uh, and I decided to put it at ultra fast to see whether it did anything and it actually changed everything because now it's uh, a lot more smooth and it does not really affect the graphics quality in the recording so yeah I mean for me it does not matter because I record f at 4x3 resolutions that is not HD at all anyway so uh, it's difficult to notice really anything. Audio, I don't think I changed anything here. here this is everything here by default. Uh, here you can see my d my devices. Uh, mic is by the mi mic is default. This is my Plantronics uh, headset, which I use right now. Really great headset, by the way. 
Uh, so yeah. And this, uh, this I just changed to 1280 by 720 because I decided that I did not need anything more. I record CSGO, like I cannot, I don't really need any high resolution than that. Uh, and this process probably normal. I don't think that I changed anything over here. So uh, there. Uh, so that would be kind of it for my uh, settings, if not for the fact that some of you might notice that I have like a weird digital vibrance effect. And here's the thing, I do not use an Avery Media game capture, but this is exactly why I love OBS Studio. I decided to look up ev everywhere where I could get that v digital vibrance or contrast effect that a lot of streamers have without getting an Avery Media game capture. And what I came across was a bunch of uh, links to plugins and stuff in, in this. And what you can actually do is you can right click over here. And well, there is no plugins. It's not not plugins, but it's filters. And this is my settings. Uh, you have to add, and you you can add color correction, scaling, aspect ratio, whatever, sharpen, chroma key, uh, image mass blend. I use color correction as you can see over here, and this is what you can get. You can get gamma settings, which is kind of like I don't know what it exactly does. Basically, gamma settings for me. I found out that it looks a bit brighter, but it is not exactly the same brightness as it is over here. It kind of like I don't know how to describe it. It just made things look a bit more vi like vibrant to me, but brighter and vibrant at the same time. Uh, kind of like balanced it out. Brightness is set at zero. Saturation I set it at one because that's what I found out works best for me. Uh, hue shift, I did not change that. Opacity 100%, obviously. If you set it lower, it is gonna be transparent, so I would not recommend that, honestly. Um, and I believe that would be it. Uh, I do not have anything yet. You can also add uh, text. There's a lot of things you can really add over here. Uh, but that's about it for my CSGO recording settings. And I don't think that I have much else to say. So that would be it for the video. And if this helped, uh, if you have any questions, then I will be willing to answer those questions down below if you intend to ask any. So I guess that's it. Thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day.